Are you looking for the cheapest mechanic game for just under 100 ringgit? I got you. Afiku, y'all. Hey, what's up, everybody? My name is Afiku, and today I'm gonna review and unboxing this brand new mechanical keyboard that I just bought from Lazada that called Vsync. Vsync? Vsync. I don't know how to say that name. Full disclosure, they didn't send me this keyboard for review. I bought this using my own money, so I'm allowed to say what I want about this keyboard. All right, let's go. Unboxing. As you can see, it comes with a simple box that written on top of it that says Vixing Wire Keyboard. This particular model that I bought is a PC320A. Yep, don't mistaken, it's a PC320A. Let's open it up. So, when you open it up, you'll be greeted the keyboard itself with some paperwork and manual VIP invited. And unfortunately, this keyboard did not come with a keycap puller, which is kind of annoying. They should come with it, but you have to buy separately if you want to change the keycap itself. And that pretty much it, what comes with the keyboard itself. So let's take a look at the keyboard itself, shall we? This keyboard is a 87% or 10 keyless keyboard, meaning you won't have a keypad on the right side, which is a good for people who didn't have a lot of space on their desk. The keycap is a double shot ABS keycap which is a typical nowadays you find on a keyboard. The keycap provides a DACS. The material is made from the hard plastic and the metal so it feels solid keyboard itself. It's also print the company logo itself on the above up arrow key. It have a matte texture and finish on it, so it give a very clean look. I actually like it. On the back, the texture feel kind of plastic. And it have a lift up feet for comfort typing. And it has four rubber feet so that it doesn't move, it makes it stable. It also has a place for cable management so that the wire can be placed in the middle, left and right.
So now let's go check it out, the Swiss itself. This keyboard unfortunately only available in Blue Swiss only. When we talk about Blue Swiss, of course it's gonna be clicky and tactile. The force is 50 gram actuation force, only 2.2 mm pre travel. And the company claim every switch have a 50 million cycle life. The keyboard only available in black color. The click sound is quite loud to banner, so just bear in mind, especially when you change the keycap into different material like PBT, like I will show you. You cannot detach the switch because the switch is not swappable. The keyboard also have a RGB with 24 customized effect. You can adjust how bright the RGB and how fast the movement of RGB itself. To adjust the backlight mode, you need to press FN, PS, SL, PB, INS, HN, and PU button. It comes with 24 mode in total. So in this video, I'm gonna make two type of recording, which is first one are we doing recording with just, just stock ABS keycap that come in it. And after that, I'm gonna record it with another which is a PBT keycap that I own so that you can hear the different really. So let's talk about the good and bad thing about this keyboard. We're gonna start with the bad about this keyboard. The stabilizer for the bad space, enter, spacebar, shift and catalog are bad. You can hear the writer when I touch it. The keycap is made of FBS, so it will develop shine and become oily when you use it heavily. So be smart, buy a keycap PBT in the future, you won't regret it, trust me. And it doesn't come with keycap puller, come on, fixing. You don't want to give me a keycap puller? That's not good. Now let's talk about the good thing. Surprisingly, this keyboard feels very solid. It's, it's not that very heavy. Even the body made from the plastic. And they're claiming a metal. It's very affordable, just under 100 ringgit. And when you buy a keyboard under that price ring, it's a bit worried because of that condition of the keyboard itself. Conclusion. So who I recommend to buy it? If this is your first mechanical keyboard, then this is the perfect choice for you. It's cheap 
and Fizz Solid for your first mechanical keyboard. If you're kind of gamer that love to smash the keyboard when you lose the game because of, you know, you noob or your keyboard got destroyed, then buy this as emergency backup, all right? You can also buy this keyboard as a gift for people that you know have a computer at home, especially at this time of pandemic where people are working from home. So if you like this video and you find it very informative, why don't you like the video, subscribe, and don't forget to follow me in my social media. My name is Afiku N. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next time. Bye-bye.